So we got ourselves a holiday candle for Valentine's Day. You actually can look at the base. The base is sort of in a shape of a heart. Actually, if we modify it just a little bit, I think it's gonna look more like a heart. Yep, so you can see here, there's a heart-shaped base to the candle, and then the candle itself, and you got a little flame on the top. So it's ready to go for the holiday that is Valentine's Day. And uh, you know, like I said in the later, is a lot of people repurpose gifts by just slapping a heart on there. And that's kind of what this is. It's that heart-shaped candle holding thing that they sell. They'll probably sell it for $9.99 and uh, have it at every grocery store or whatever and uh, ready to be sold for the holidays. That is Valentine's Day. So we got ourselves a Valentine's Day candle, nice and romantic. You can look at the fire and, and you know be romanced. So I think that looks pretty cool. Leave a comment down below and uh, give us your suggestions on how we could have made this better. And if you think this turned out fairly well, leave a comment as well. Also, make sure to like and subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, you'll get notifications every day we put out a new video. Make sure daily we've got to put out one every single day. So there you go. Uh, that's my oath to you. I'd love to see your items as well. So share with us on our social media. Okay, let's, uh, let's go check out how I built this in under five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So we gotta build a romantic candle in uh, less than five minutes of time. So let's try. So I'm thinking like a mason jar kind of candle. It seems to be the going thing right now. It's like that glass container with the, with the uh, candle on the inside. But the only clear that we have is this and this. So I'm thinking that that's probably not gonna be the best thing. So, Maybe this is going to be the wick of the candle, though. The f flame and the wick. Okay, that works. And then we need to add in something like this to the bottom. Okay. We're cooking now. Uh, let's bring these around. These will be the middle. Or the, I mean, the yeah, the middle of the candle, but the outside middle, the outside portion that you actually can touch. So then, we'll put this on top of that. And now we have ourselves a candle. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So now let's try to make things a little cooler. Okay, so there we go. So we got ourselves a little bit of a candle. Now, how do we add that like mason jar kind of feel to it? I'm not sure. Matter of fact, I think that's a bad idea is to go that direction right now because I think uh, let's see here. What can we do? Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is gonna get converted here. Let's see here. So instead of that being the middle part of the candle, well, actually, it'll still be the middle part of the candle, but we're just gonna have a top to it. Like that. Well, that's cool. That works. Okay, actually, get rid of the black piece. I don't think we need that. Makes it too much like a cone. Just have the wick. 
I think it does. And there we go. Uh, maybe if we build this up a little, like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm trying to add some romance to it somehow. You know, something that makes it stand out and says, oh yeah, this is a Valentine's Day thing. So maybe... Maybe we put a little bit of a heart shape on the base. Yeah, I think that works. How are we doing this? How does this work? Huh? Yeah, like that. Like this. Like that. Okay. Then, well, that part's got to go up front, though, color wise. Okay, so this, do one of these here like that and on this side we'll do the same we're getting close in time this is gonna sit like that and that and this is gonna go up front or this so it doesn't tip over yeah so it's kind of like a, a heart shape on the bottom on the base that's perfect for Valentine's Day you know, they do all these corny things uh, for Valentine's Day. They make anything and everything that was a normal everyday product into a Valentine's Day product by adding a heart or hearts or a pattern of hearts on it. Um, so I think this is a quintessential ca uh, candle that's ready for Valentine's Day. It's a great little gift for Valentine's Day. It's not the mason jar kind of feel that I was going for, but I think I turned it into something that looks like a um, Valentine's Day present. So let's go find out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Well, that candle was a cool build. Now we gotta spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. So we have none of my Valentine's Day items on the board and let's go see what we have next. It's a mug. So I'm thinking like, uh, I've been given mugs for Valentine's Day, mugs with socks on them, mugs with hearts on them, all kinds of different things. So let's go build a mug out of the 221 pieces that we have and get it ready for Valentine's Day. Maybe we'll even test it with water. Let's go check out how I built it tomorrow. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.